James Lutton, delighted to be joined on Zoom today with Jack McGann. Jack, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Good stuff. Fight week approaching. How's camping? Yeah. Um, camping good. It was it was pretty straightforward because of, uh, my last fight was obviously a 10 round. It was a long camp. So we ju- we jumped pretty much straight in and the fitness carried over. So it was a it was a um, a nice, a nice smooth smooth transition. I want to sort of go back a little bit. Um, you're fairly fresh and fairly new to boxing, um, yeah. but you did MMA professionally beforehand. Talk yeah. about that transition. What's that like? Um, I, I, one of the things that, that differentiated me from other MMA fighters was I, I sparred pro boxers in, in just boxing and even in, in, in preparation for MMA, for MMA fights. So, I used to spar like high level guys, and 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 he always thought it'd be, I'd have I'll have I'll have one, I'll see how we get on, and 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 one's turned into, this is me. Um. So so the transition was, it it it's it, it's it took a. It was more so when the rounds went up, that's when the transition started. Um. Um. But it, it become like a totally different thing. Do you know what I mean? Um. But it was pretty. It was pretty smooth. In terms of the actual training regimes and things like that, how different is it to MMA? Is it harder? Is it easier? I'd I'd say that you know MMA is tough, a bit tough on your body because you're just doing more and wrestling wrestling just destroys your body, especially your neck and, and, and everything else. Um, but I think that the actual the sparring and everything else in, in boxing is tougher because there's only one thing happening in, in boxing and it's, in, and it's you're getting punched in the face, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's in, in with MMA, you know, if, if you've got two really good grapplers and they're going out on the floor and, and they keep they keep advancing position on each other, not not much damage can be caused. Damage can be caused in, in, in a good few minutes. So, um, you, you know, before I did make the change, I'd, I'd, I'd say they were really similar, but having, having competed in both, at a, um, the, the, the completely different worlds. In terms of obviously MMA, you mentioned there's the wrestling, there's the kicking, there's everything else. Boxing is just punching. How hard is it to change that discipline? Because you know muscle memory, the making things habitual. Is it hard to remember not to kick? No, because I wasn't much of a kicker. I can't kick, but I, if you go and watch any of the MMA fights, I pretty much have a, a, a straightforward. Um, um, plan which is which I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my hands my hands and I'm gonna pretty much box yeah I, I, you know it's good everywhere else but but my but my um philosophy in me was box wrestle in that order so I'll box yeah and if you try and take me down I'll wrestle you to get back to my feet and then back back to the boxing. Talk to me a little bit about Martin Murray. Obviously we all know Martin in the boxing world. How did that? How did the two of you sort of come together? Um. You know, Martin, one of the people who was, who was sparred when I was still doing MMA, and um, you know, I, I clicked with him right away, and he, and he and he and he got like great energy about him, and and he's just one of the nicest people that you'll meet. And actually, when I changed over from, from MMA to boxing, we I, I was signed to Frank Warren, and I'd I'd had, I'd had no um, amateur boxing fights, none, so. They, they put me on my debut on the Tyson Fury comeback fight a few couple of years ago. And before they done that though, it was like we could have been blagging them, do you know what I mean? So we had to show them that I could actually I could actually box and we had a spar lined up with someone and they let us down and then we rang Martin and we was like, look, we we've got Robert Warren coming for Frank's brother um on, on Monday. Can you can you come in and help and just do four rounds us and, and, and Martin come with it? So really he started off me boxing career as well and then and, and then you know I was I, was, I, I changed gym a while ago because um, I moved and everything else and, and, and it was just it, it wasn't working there and um, I was stuck between gyms because the place I wanted to go the, the coach was tied up as well so I um, Martin asked me to come and spar so I do who, who he was helping I come and spar I spoke to him told me situation and he said I'll, I'll help you and that was that was last year and I've been, been with him since January and, and, and I couldn't be going better but I just think it's funny how things work out because he, 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 he basically started off me boxing career, you know what I mean? So. Absolutely. And so with Martin, we all know him in the ring. He's kept a very low profile outside of it in terms of his coaching. 
do you think that's a good thing? Yeah, you know, it's, it's only me and um, and and one of the other lads. So it's, it's a small team, but we get all, all of Martin's focus and, and you know, we we don't forget I'm I'm I'm, I'm I might have only had eight fights professionally in boxing, but I've been a professional fighter for ten years now. Because I had sixteen fights in MMA, so I'm I'm a season for myself. I, I've seen I've seen countless coaches. I've seen um. Plenty of overalls, plenty of people who recruit up the right way, the wrong way. And I can't, I can't say, I understand, it's when it comes to fighting, Martin Murray is one of the most um, in, informed, educated um, coaches, people in boxing that, 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 I've, that I've come across. You're just fights ball full stop. I ask him something and he just answers straight away. And you will say it in a way where I, I look at it and go, oh, well, I didn't even look at it like that. And oh, yeah, that makes sense. And he's just, he, he, he's, he's got it, you know what I mean? Definitely. Um, you mentioned there your pro debut, Tyson Fury undercard. What was that like? It was. It, it, it was funny because we, we were filming a documentary at the same time from from what went on Amazon. What it was it was to switch over from MMA to boxing, and it's it was a documentary told the story, and the end of the story hadn't been yet because it was all building towards the fight. We had the fight and then they added that to the documentary. So when it comes to the night, I was all I was all affected of my first boxing fight on a big bill. Um six rounded as well against a good lad. And then and then on the day I just remember my dad saying my dad went to me, look, I'm not gonna put no more pressure on you, but you do know there's there's only one way this can go today. And luckily it luckily I got I got the knockout and it went it went great. But I just felt like at that time, um because obviously I, I, I was fresh out of fighting in, in, in Russia. My last, my last five MMA fights were in Russia on the bounce. So it was refreshing to be fighting at home. It was it was the the way they handled me and everything else and the way it was. It was, it was more refreshing than everything else. Do you know what I mean? It sort of gave me a, um, a, bit, a bit of a new lease of life in, 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 in fighting. But I loved every second of it. And as I said before, the, the performance couldn't have gone any, any better. You mentioned there the documentary that the pressure added because yeah. of that, and the camera's just following you around all the time. What was that like as well? Because that's you know something that a lot of people don't have. You know, boxing is hard enough as it is without having a crew of people following you around all the time. Well, I was in, I was just enjoying it. It was hard because we had we had to crunch it at the end, and, and it was a few long days. But the guys who done it were, were, were great, and, and and it was a really fun. It was a good experience. I, 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 it's not like trying to look back at and go, I wouldn't do that again. I loved it, but when it comes to the last bit, I was like, it's got, it, it, it did add to the pressure, do you know what I mean? But um, as far as big nights go, I always rise to the occasion on, on big fight nights, so it, it might have helped. Wouldn't, wouldn't have done it again like that, but it, but it, it might have helped in a funny way. Uh, let's talk about your last fight. Um, you was dropped, I think, for the first time in your boxing career. Um, in your life. In your life. Okay, yeah. what was that like? You know, your moment, you're on the canvas, what's going through your head? I just remember, I, I just remember sitting there going, I'll be ended up here. He's put me there, right? I mean, I'm, I'm fighting. And I was just, fe- I, was, I was, I was fuming at myself because I, I got caught with, with, with something, with a good shot. But as far as that moment, I've always, you know, I'm not, I'm not a loser thinking, oh, I can't be it, I can't be this, I can't be that. I've, I've, I've always thought, well, if I do get dropped, um, I'm going to make sure I take my time getting up because I've seen plenty of people who go down, jump up straight away and they're not ready to get up and they, they had a bit more time that they could have used and maybe if they did use that, they might have not got waved off when they, when they stood up on shaky legs. So, um, that that was it, you know, as soon as I got me, it's like, it's like I had to climb off the floor, I, I actually felt, it was more so, I, I was square as he hit me. It was, it, 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 we, we, we both two at the same time but he hit me right on the chin and that was it. But, I caught myself so I got dropped and I had to climb off the floor. So I was I was I was aware aware of where I was straight away and just knew to take that time and and if, and, and, and I'm and I'm happy with the way I handled that. I, I think it showed a lot of maturity as as a fighter and and um, and yet as I said before, you know, when I had these fights, but I, I have had a lot of a lot, a lot of fights collectively and I think that that that, that helped me on that on that night. He actually he actually hit me with he, he, I was more wobbled previous to that in that mass. Kept hitting me with right, with right, right hooks. It was working for him, do you know what I mean? It, um, credit to John, he, he, he's, he's, he's a soldier him and it was a great fight and, and, and um, 
I'm just happy with it, weren't I, we? Absolutely. I mean, we've already mentioned a few names, Mike and Murray, Tyson Fury, Frank Warren, uh, ringside for your last fight, Stephen Graham. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. Why was he there for yourselves? I've, I've, I've known Steve for a while. He, he, he helped us a lot with the, with the documentary a couple of years ago, but I've known Steve, Steve for years now. I'm sure that's the first fight that he's he's been to. He come, he come with his little lad off here and, and, and as far as people who enjoyed tonight, I think he was right, right, right up there at, at the top of the list. So, um, so no, as I said, that, that I'm, I'm just happy that people who come like him, never mind just him, people who just come all the way from Liverpool and, and come up that that the big night paid off for than it was. Should it, it delivered? Do you know what I mean? Definitely. You mentioned the, the the Liverpool the Liverpool fans. For me, in the UK, probably the best atmosphere I've had is at the arena in Liverpool how much would it mean to you to be able to fight there one day oh, I'd, I'd love that that would that, be a dream come true I haven't fought in the pool since I was 16 16 I think so I've been close for to Manchester and, and stuff but, but I do feel like it's got to the point now where when I do come back to fight in the pool I'd like it to be to be either for the big fight like for the tight loss or something or, or on a big show I feel, like I, I feel like it's been that long out with you people waiting just to go, oh, you want a small hall or, or this or that, you know what I mean? So, um, but you know, having said that, your hall is a, is a you, you hear people say it all the time, and I thought it was just one of them cliche things, oh, your hall is great to fight in, but it is honestly, I fought in big arenas um, all over the place, but that that place, where, where, the atmosphere is in, 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 in there is electric. It's, it, it, it's the venue, it's everything, but it is a, I'm enjoying fighting there as well. Absolutely. Um, you mentioned you're hoping it'd be for a big title, things like that. What is your, in your mind, what is your plan? What are you hoping for? What's your time scales on these title fights and your aspirations for your career? Well, you know, my last fight, one second, mate. It's only four and four. My last fight was, my last fight was for the English title eliminator. And, you know, if that English title wasn't tied up, that would have been the next fight. But I believe Sam's not fighting until September, or he, he, he might even vacate or anything like that. So um, I'm pretty much there, especially with this, if I get this win, which is an international fight against, against a highly, a really highly ranked guy. Um, I'm knocking on the door for them. So it could be next, could be the one after, but it's 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 pretty it's soon. If, 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 to be honest, if I get a title fight at the end of this year, that's a perfect year for me. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, so yeah, we 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 we'll um we'll see. But I'm knocking on the door. Absolutely. And just finally, last one from me. We've named up a few people. I can't interview without mentioning Tom Hardy. Um, he did put on his Instagram page a good luck message to you for your fight coming up as well. Um, just again, same as Stephen. How do you know Tom? What's the relationship there? It it was just through um a mutual friend. I think I think he likes. He, he, he's into fighting because he's done a few films where he's had to prep for it and stuff and, and, and Tom's if Tom gets he's at the point now where if he gets told to um, get in shape for the for the film for like a, for like a, a physical film most guys are going um, to get CPT and going to do weights and blah blah Tom basically just does Tom basically does a fight camp he does and he spars like it as well so um yeah, so it starts off like a mutual friend. He he, he send the odd, he, he send good luck messages and stuff, and then um we met up, and then since then we we, we meet up regularly. We train when when he does do them camps, he we spar, we have move around and and, and everything else. So he's um he is he, he's a genuinely one one of my mates. But but you know he sent the first, I, think the first, I was thinking about this before the, the first time he um. So the first message that he sent me, I was fighting on a big show in, in Ireland in, in, in the arena in, um, in MMA. And it was like a, a big fight. It was hyped for the weeks and the other guy was a monster and, and, and I had a lot of people there and everything else. And then in the changes, someone just went, hey, look at this. And then Tom just sent me a message and I was like, Ooh. and I just seen it and I was like, oh, I couldn't process it properly, do you know what I mean? But that but that one that he sent, he was in the, it was when he was going on to Peaky Blinders and he was in the full workout and, and on set and he gave the message in, in, in character, you know what I mean? But we, we, never got, we never got in trouble for that because the promotion used it. But he hadn't thought no one knew he was, he was in Peaky Blinders yet, so we nearly um, set the world on fire. But, but 
but no, it, it was it was it was um yeah he, he's a good mate and 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 I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that yeah he lets us help him in that way as well. Definitely. I mean, you seen him in camp, like he's sparring. Could Tom turn pro? Is he a good boxer? Hundred percent. Here's the thing. I I always say this. He's one of the he's one of the most lovely, nice people that you meet. Now I'm a fight, but when it comes to fighting and boxing, he's got that little. I always say he's got that little nasty streak, which is what you need. So he got that by down goes forward. He doesn't back up. So um, I wouldn't I wouldn't like him to change profession, but if he had to, he'd do really well. But, you know, you, if, if you just put in, go on, go on YouTube, there's a video of me and him sparring, and, and you can see it yourself. I haven't got a shell, just go and watch it. You can fight. That's it, Jack. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate it, and all the best for fight night. All right, thanks a lot. Nice one, pal. Thanks.